I shouldn't talk about this, but I had one person ask me to basically break the contract and sell it exclusive, and I had to tell them no, like, absolutely not, and I still, like, it was, the offer was $1,000, I made more than that. I made way more than that. My name is Ty Donovan, I'm from Naples, Florida. Growing up, I was in a pretty musical household. There was just a lot of instruments everywhere. My dad plays guitar, my mom learned piano. My mom plays a little bit of guitar, they like to sing. So there was a lot of instruments around the house. And when I was five years old, I was just playing guitar. I got pretty lucky and I developed perfect pitch without realizing it. In grade school, I had an elementary school music teacher point it out to me. And I think from there, I just started learning guitar. My dad got me into guitar lessons when I was 10 years old. From there, my love for guitar expanded, my love for a lot of different bands with, that were very guitar oriented, a lot of Pink Floyd, a lot of Jimi Hendrix, a lot of cool stuff like that. And then when I was a freshman, I discovered FL Studio. And that was where my love for production really came from. Obviously in high school discovering FL Studio was pretty cool and from there I started making music every day. I remember like the first time I made a beat, I had to go to a dentist appointment after that and all I could think about was this stupid little melody that I made and coming back to it was one of the craziest feelings and I think that was kind of what catapulted me into just continuing to make music throughout high school. And then as a senior, I had a friend recommend me to post my beats just on YouTube. So I started doing that, and from there I discovered other producers that were posting on BeatStars. So that got me onto BeatStars. Um, I convinced my parents to help me pay for a first month, and then from there I actually got a $100 offer for an exclusive beat. So I kept going with it, just working with that first customer, developing that relationship, continuing to post beats and stay active. I think I eclipsed $1,000 in my first year on BeatStars. Just through posting on BeatStars and getting to know the creative team and honestly working with the company, there's just so many opportunities for the producers through playlists, through the BeatStars Originals program. There's a lot of different ways that you can basically get yourself in front of the rappers and get yourself in front of the artists that are trying to make the music. And my experience with that was one day I just saw they were on Instagram asking for original beats for BeatStars Originals. So I submitted three MP3s and forgot about it for five months. After that, I got an email back that my beat was actually selected, and from there, in that first year of that beat being out, I think I got 200,000 plays. I got a lot of money. I shouldn't talk about this, but I had one person ask me to basically break the contract and sell it exclusive, and I had to tell them no, like, absolutely not, and I still, like, it was, the offer was $1,000. I made more than that. I made way more than that. I used to sell a lot of them for like 35 bucks just with people that I develop relationships with that I consider friends that I'm close with and looking back on that it's a bad model for the sake of well first off you can't ever sell the beat again but that's now your standard for everybody you have to think about your other customers you can't be pricing people differently I think being a trained musician helps a lot with something that people ignore a lot at first, which is publishing, because a lot of people use samples, a lot of people are using midis, which that's a whole publishing crisis in itself because midis are songwriting, essentially. Basically, being a songwriter allows me to create everything myself. I know that it's all original, I own all of it. There's no owing anybody anything, there's no copyright, there's nothing that I have to worry about. I think it also helps a lot with collaboration with working with other people. A lot of the producers you'll run into, they work on drums, they're engineers, everybody does something different. Some of the coolest things you'll do are like working with somebody else that does melodies if you're a melody maker. It's kind of cool what bringing your skills to a collaboration can do. Collaboration is one of the coolest parts of this. Basically posting on BeatStars and YouTube, this one French platinum producer discovered me and I've collaborated a few times with him. And he's pretty cool. He just, um, he, he gives me like engineering tips when I send him melodies and stuff. He's like, don't do this. Don't, don't throw this distortion on. I'm definitely missing out by not making melodies pretty often. I have a unique situation because I was working a nine to five for a year and a half prior to this a few months ago. And just now I'm getting back into making beats and I actually made some melodies before I came here today. But I've seen so many people that struggle with their beats, but then they make a melody that gets placed and that's what opens the door. And then people realize that their beats are better, especially in today's world where like producers, I haven't done this, but I've seen 
beats where there's four people collaborating on a beat. That's a great way to get your name in the door. I got into music through my family. I think a good majority of the way I produce, the music I listen to, the instruments I use, like all of it, I, it's my family. It's the things that I grew up with. I owe it all to my family, whether it's what I was born with, genetics, whether it was the way I was raised. My family is very musical to begin with, so there's probably some level of genetic. So much cool music around me. My parents played Grateful Dead. My parents played Jimi Hendrix. My parents played Pink Floyd. My parents also played Outkast, whether they're like my favorites. This is my dad's favorite rapper. I was on my patio, I was checking my email, and I get a lot of scam emails as a producer. So I was just going through my emails and I saw an email specifically from Andrea from BeatStars. And at first I had to make sure this was real. I actually screenshotted this and sent a DM to the producer whisperer and he confirmed <laughs> that this was a team member. And um, from there I, I started freaking out. I texted my dad, I texted a lot of my friends, texted my girlfriend. I didn't really know what to expect. That I was told that it was debuting in a week, so I knew I could expect it soon. And just after that first month, it was crazy. It was a lot more money in a month than I'd ever seen. It was a lot more plays in a month than I'd ever seen. So much interaction on the beat. Probably the greatest thing that happened to me on that platform.